Hey everybody, it's good to see you all again. This segment is just to kind of let you guys know what is going on in this episode. So in this episode, there is a situation um, towards the end or anywhere in this episode, there is a blank. That means there's no sound coming in the episode. And you might think that is your fault. That is my fault. You can blame me, say it was my fault because that is editing problem and that's because of recording and the recording platform that I use. If that happens to be in the in the episode, if that's in it, um, what you need to do is to just disregard it. Don't worry about it. Consider it like an ad break. Consider it like a break. Consider it like we're taking a five minute break. Consider it like that. So no freaking out. No need to worry. Make sure you guys enjoy the episode. Enjoy what's in it. And y'all have a good one. And enjoy this one. Really enjoy it and have fun. And please disregard the blanks in there because other than breaks. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. And thank you guys for understanding and for your cooperation. Hello, everybody. Thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. Before we get into the podcast interview session, I'd like to open this opportunity to engage you in a little something. A fan sent in a voice message. We get voice messages sometimes, and I'd like to allow you guys to listen in on this. It's only a few seconds, a few seconds of your time before we dive into this to the interview session. Thank you guys so much for your time, and thank you guys so much for tuning in every um, weekend. If you're brand new, I hope you guys enjoy it, and hope you guys enjoy this short little message, and thank you guys, and enjoy. See you guys soon. Hey, little man, why you telling me? I'm going to get you in the air, and I'm going to put you in the stair. Hey, my little girl, she want to tell me I'm a world. Hey, when I tell you I'm born, you be all a hey, uh, Hey, hey, everybody! Sorry for the uh, silence in the beginning, but um, anyway, good to see you all again. All right, this one's gonna be good. Today I'm here with an amazing rapper and musician, Spawn Hante. Good to see you. Say it to the world. Yo, Bye. what's good? I'm Sponte. I make music. Let's go. <laughs> Cool, thanks for the cute intro. All right, cool. So it's nice to meet you. Thank you so much for taking your time out to do this. I really do appreciate it. I mean, I mean, like, thank you for taking your time out to give me this interview, bro. This is like the first interview I've ever had, and I've been wanting one for a while. <laughs> so, oh, really? You didn't? You never had one for school? Like, this is the very first one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. damn. Oh wow. <laughs> Cool. You're going to do great for your first time. This one's going to be super sweet. <laughs> All right. Cool. So um, a lot of us don't know you as an artist. So I want to kind of start off by getting to know you, you as a rapper. So um, how did the journey with music start for you? Okay. So uh, as a kid, I really, actually, as a kid, my main influence was not actually rap. Um, I, I bear, like, I listened to rap, but it wasn't like my main influence. My main influence was actually uh, rock and metal and stuff like that. And the and I, 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 my mom tried to get me to play some instruments like uh, guitar and piano, but it didn't work out. Uh, but eventually. After, you know, listening to a lot of rock music and figuring out what I wanted to do, I decided that I would stay, I would play the drums, right? And kind of like, so so as I played the drums, then the corona shit happened, you feel me? And so mm-hmm. I was like, at first, at first I actually didn't think about being a rapper at all, you feel me? Um... I started freestyling when I was like 12, but then I dropped it like very soon because it got boring to me. And then uh, I was like, yo, it would be kind of cool if I was like a like a rock singer or something or like a 
like a metal artist and I, st- I still got i still that got that kind of like i still kind of want to be that but like mix it with rap because you know of the whole trap metal movement i think uh the trap metal movement is something that i i'd like to like be part of at some point you know make some trap metal but at first, I just wanted to be like a like a like a rock artist, but I I figured out that I didn't have the voice for it, so I was like, okay, shit, what do I do now? I I guess I'll I'll try out rap things, and so I started going to uh the the first server first rap server I was ever in. It's it's not here anymore, but it was called Beats and Raps. Uh, that's basically where I gained like all of the knowledge that that's like my biggest basis for like uh rapping and like that that's that's basically where i met like everybody you feel me oh. wow anything and it's so shocking how um you wanted to do heavy metal and rock the uh the first time you were entered into the music world you 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 had your your rap wasn't even on your mind like rock was like first thing that came out of your mind that's what you wanted to be yeah exactly i mean i feel you that's that's kind of exactly me except i except it's not rock for me it's actually pop music but um i definitely feel you that's exactly sort of like me whenever i got started that's exactly like me and it's also very interesting how you got um, your rapping basics from a server. A lot of people got their, um, some people got there from like inspiration from outside or a friend, but a well, server yeah. that's great. Pretty... It's cause, um, it's cause the, th- the thing is, right? Uh, the thing is that <laughs> I'm South American and I'm, I'm South American and so, ooh. Free in South America, you feel me? Uh, freestyle battles are like really, really, like really, really fucking popular. Like, if you're a popular freestyle battler, you can immediately make it as an artist. Like, like the most booming, like one of, like most of the most booming artists, like rappers and trappers in South America, were actually like freestyle battlers at some point. So, um, but for me, it's like, you know. I rap in English, you feel me? I, like I mainly I mainly rap in English and so nobody else does that where I live. So it's like I had to had to go to the internet for it and that's mostly why I, it, I started off in a server like just just freestyling and and that's where I learned everything. So oh. Insane, and you don't sound South African. You don't really sound like that. Nah, I, I, South American. Just saying. Oh. I, nah, it's cause okay. uh, I've been speaking English for like a like a very long time. Like when I was when I was like a very very little, like four and stuff. My dad would talk to me in English, and he would like change like uh the cartoons and he would put them in English and stuff. So I would learn it. Feel me? Oh, that explains it. That explains a bit. And sorry if I said it. Um, I made a mistake with South Africa. Oh, that was my bad. Uh, and my bad. Okay. Cool beginning. Uh, just a follow up. Um, what was the trigger point that made you decide to get into music? What was the say again? Sorry. What was the trigger point that made you decide to get into music? I think it was. Well, hmm. I think it was kind of when Corona hit, and that, that it was like the certain moment like the moment where corona hit and i was like playing the drums and i was like there was this i remember like the exact day that i like wanted to make music as well like when i was like oh damn like yo i want to be a rock star like that that would be very cool like like the day that i decided like i don't know it, it it wasn't like i don't know how to explain it it was it was just like a moment 
where I was like, damn, I really want to do this. You feel me? Oh, yeah, 100%. Um, so I guess the feeling, um, I guess you're saying was was a natural. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was natural. Oh, because it, it was natural. I, like at the time, I was experimenting. I was very experimenting with a lot of things. Like I did a, a bunch of different activities, and I was figuring out what I was really like passionate and what well, what I could be talented at. And so, after like experimenting with a bunch of different stuff, music eventually came up to my head, and I was like, you know what? Let's let's try it. Let's let's try it. Oh, okay, 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 got you. So I guess in that kind of way, it it kind of goes to, um, I guess Destiny, like you were supposed to be a rapper, I guess in that kind of way, you were supposed to be one. I wouldn't say that because the thing with, the thing with that is that, the oh, the thing with that is that, like, you know, the rappers, you, you see some rappers and you, you'll be like, oh, it was their destiny to be a rapper. Or, like, you'll see a bunch of musicians and you'll be like, oh, it was their destiny to be a musician. I wouldn't say that applies to me because the thing with those type of artists, right, is that they're from a very, very early age. Like, they're already surrounded by music. Like, their whole, like, their entire family uh, does art and everybody does music and, like, they can play the drums since they were like four years old and stuff like that. Like, it, it didn't come like that to me. Like, I only like really started getting into it uh, when I started playing the drums, and I was around um, like thirteen or fourteen. But the Destiny, like the Destiny rappers per se, they've been doing it since they were like what seven, like like very 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 early, and it's it's kind of crazy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see what you mean. Um, was your family very musical or your community environment was very musical? Um, I'd say um, the, my dad listens to a lot of music. Like um, a lot of the reasons why I know some of like someone will play an old song and I'll know it because of my dad. Like he plays, he listens to a lot of music. There's some people in my family, like like a cousin of mine, he's a producer, and like my uncle, he can play the guitar. And <laughs> he actually dated like a really famous singer. You feel me? But yeah. it's it's like like sprinkles of 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 talent in music like here and there in my family. But it's not like the entire family is into music, you feel me? Oh. oh, okay, I see, I see. Got you. So they weren't really musically in rap, like rap kind of came um, by itself. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, that explains, that explains up, uh, a bit. Okay. Okay. And to, to not have awkwardness and to make this uncomfortable for us. Moving on. Um, so... Do you have a favorite instrument? Um, the drums, because <laughs> because that's mainly what I really like. Actually, like to play. I try. I tried a piano. I tried a guitar. I was I wasn't really into it, but like when I saw the the drummers and like the bands and stuff, I was like, oh wow, I would like to try that out, and and that's mainly. Mainly what I liked. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks for that real response. And okay, what's your big inspirations into the music game? And yeah, uh, as in like people. Well, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your inspirations. Hmm. Um. Uh, well, let's see. I could list the, I can list off like a, like a bunch of rappers and like a, a couple of bands. Um, 
there there there's some there's a certain people that are like uh like okay there there's people that like full on inspire me and like I want to write like them I want to rap like them I want to you be, be like them you feel me like uh for example like a uh, JID uh like like JID or Star Lord Zillakami and a couple of others but there's also people that are like that like influence me but they're not but I'm not trying to be like them like for example Juice World and Billie Eilish I have massive respect for Juice World and Billie Eilish and and I think they're really talented people like really really fucking talented but it's not like I listen to their music 24/7 and I'm trying to uh be like them you feel me but the, but they still got like a certain level of influence you know Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. I'd say, I'd say, like right now, rapper wise, like rap wise, Ski Mask and JID, oh, Ski Mask, JID, Kendrick and Cole are like the main ones that, oh. that uh, inspired me. Oh, cool. Some of them I haven't heard of, but I'm gonna check them out later. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, okay, this is one of my favorites. So, do you have any dream collabs you want to do? Oh, okay. Oof, a dream collab. All right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, hmm, here's the thing, right? It's, it's kind of weird because I'm like a rapper, right? But like mm -hmm. dream collabs are like with bands and shit. <laughs> it's, uh. So 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 it's it's a little bit weird, but but like I think my dreams collabs would be like with um ooh oh I I forgot, but like I think I would really like to collab with um what is it uh JID and. Kenny Mason. Kenny Mason is also like a really big influence. I forgot about him. But Kenny Mason is like uh upcoming, you know, like a like a new like he just recently made it into the ma mainstream. He's not been here for like very long. You feel me? But uh -huh. Oh, Ski Mask as well. Ski Mask. I I I would love to I I kind of I kind of like Ski Mask. And I and I think like I want to kind of sort of be like him because you know the thing with ski mask i like to collab with him because ski mask is the type of guy that like when ski mask collabs with somebody he he's not like the most lyrical rapper you feel me but his energy alone um can like carry most lyrical rappers you feel me so i really mm -hmm. like ski mask energy and i feel like like a collab with him would be great and uh a collab with Scar Lord. Yo, I actually actually fun fact. Um so <laughs> I have a track coming out, right? It's like a it's like a like a sort of this track. It's like a really high energy track, right? And I I was looking for an ad lib to fill in a space like on the internet, right? And I found the ad like like a Scar Lord ad lib, right? And I put it on the track, and it sounds fucking insane. Scarlord, it, like Scarlord's ad libs, are add so much energy to the track. It, it's crazy. So like a collab with him would be, be great. Oh, cool, cool. I gotta check some of those artists out. They, you make them sound like really cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check them out later. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Cool. Okay, not to make this weird between us who uh, oh okay this next one and I know you're I know uh, what you're gonna say but I want you want you to say it. Have you ever gone through a writer's block? Have I ever gone through writer's block? Yes. Okay, so I'm pretty sure everybody's gone through writer's block, but um recently Recently, actually, like I'm pretty sure everybody at some point gets writer's block. You feel me? Everybody gets writer's mm -hmm. block. Like it's it's a natural thing. But recently, 
I haven't really been getting that much writer's block because right now, thanks to like all of my homies, like I used to be, I used to be a, a big freestyler, you know, like I used to freestyle a lot. Like that was my main thing. But then when I was on servers like, uh, like uh, BYOB, DBL, Lyrical, and I started joining like more um, written rap battle servers, you feel me? Like where you write and you spit it on the VC, right? I, I started, I started kind of getting my ass kicked. And so I was like, oh, damn it, I'm going to start writing more. So I kind of transitioned from freestyle to write. Like, I still freestyle. I try to keep my skill in freestyling. But I mainly start, like, at least, like, writing at least one verse or a chorus. Or I write every day. And since I'm writing every day now, it doesn't really... I don't really get that much writer's block. But I've definitely experienced it in certain ways because there's... There, oh, but like, I don't know if this counts as writer's block, but you know, um, I, I also do rap battles sometimes, you feel me? And so, in when you write for a song and when you write for a rap battle, it's very different. So, for example, I've been writing a lot for songs, and when I try to go to battling, you know, battling is mainly about you know, the punchlines, the schemes you know, try, try to make it sound hard and complex, right? Like, lyrics. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of, it, it, it does get pretty hard writing for that, like, when you just finish writing for a song. So, like, for example, I can't just go write three songs and then come back to write a battle verse and just pop out, like, constantly amazing punches. Like, I can't do that. It's, it's, it's really hard. But I don't know if you consider that writer's block necessarily. Uh, I guess maybe similar to writer's block. I guess it, it can be like a part of writer's block, but yeah, I think it's up mm -hmm. to perspective. I think it's up to perspective. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. And I also respect your transition because I've had a very similar transition. I had a very similar one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, like, what was your transition? Um, from pop to rock, um, rap, not rock. It was rap. It was pop to rap. Whenever, um, I found rap out, I had to change my style of writing to rap. I still write pop music from time to time, but my main thing is rap music. Whenever I write it, so I had to do that oh, yeah. transition. It was very difficult. I think. Um. I think writing for like different types of things like rock and pop and rap is like those transitions are pretty hard to do as well like i can i can sort of write for a pop song but because i'm kind of like because of because i'm always ra writing raps and shit i'm like uh relying heavily on the rhyming and so when you're writing like a pop song or like a rap rock song you need to you need to take a step back and be like okay i need to relax on the rhyming because you, you you won't have multi-syllable schemes on a, oh, yeah. on a pop song that that's just not how it works and mm -hmm. it's like damn it okay i need to relax and it, and it is kind of hard yeah it took me a while to get used to rap it took me yeah. a long time no, I am, so that's a good thing. It's good now that I'm used to it. Okay. Right. Okay, cool. Um, now that I'm going to learn more about your music, because since you write a lot, I'm going to start with this first one. So how do you exactly write a song? Hmm? How do you write a song? What's your creative process? Okay, so... Uh, for writing a song, right? So, uh, I've kind of toned down the lyrical miracle complexity of like my songs and stuff. So right now, what I just kind of focus on, like, 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 I'll, like, like, I've toned down the, the writing, like the trying, like, really hard to have a bunch of different meanings to this and like 
20 different amazing punchlines and like all of this stuff i've toned it down for music so mainly what i do for music is that I, like i pick out the beat uh i freestyle a little bit to it you know i figure out the flow the flow is mainly what matters to me the most when i'm writing a song like because it's the most enjoyable part of the of the song and so when I write, I focus mainly on the flow, like the flow, the flow switches, and the rhyming, because rhyming is just really fun. <laughs> so, <laughs> and also, like, no, actually, yeah, <laughs> that's it. Oh, uh, okay. And I definitely respect you. I definitely like the rhyming whenever you create bars. Like, it's very fun to do rhyming because it's also universal. So you can do different things with rhyming. It's fun. And, and sometimes, 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 like, sometimes I'll be like, um, or, 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 and sometimes it's, and then that's, I figured out that's what I like the most because sometimes when I'm rhyming, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about the rhymes and I think about the next word that rhymes and that next rhyme turns out like uh like the line that i think for like for the next rhyme it turns out to be like a really good punchline even though i was just like trying to follow the scheme you feel me so sometimes i'll be writing so so that's why i mostly focus on the rhyme more because i feel like when i focus on the rhyme like the punchline comes out naturally you know so, oh yeah oh yeah most definite. Those are the kind of similar things that I like to do and work on when I write. I don't record, but I do write. And those are the kind of things that I look out for. Yeah. Uh, okay, so to not make this weird. Um, here's this next one. I think you'll have a very insightful answer. But um, Okay. How would you describe your music? Hmm. So the thing with my music, right, is that uh, here's the thing with my music. I've been I've been rapping for about a year now, you know, and the thing that I've been mostly doing is that I haven't released a bunch of music because I've been trying to improve on my rapping first. Like I've been trying to freestyle more and learn how to write more. And like that that happens with a lot of rappers that like there's a there's rappers that just rap but they don't make music and that 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 that's kind of the thing with me I do make music but mainly I've been trying to learn how to rap better and stuff and so I can't really define my music right now not because it's like oh it's so unique and it's so unique and so different. I can't put it into a genre. Nah, it's just simply like very undefined right now. I'm, I'm not at the point where I can label it into something. You feel me? Ah, uh, okay. Because I, I haven't you. made enough of it. I do plan uh, on making like a bunch of projects though, because. I got, I got a, I got a, I got a bunch of songs coming out. I even got like two this is coming out. <laughs> so, uh, I, I probably sooner, pro I'm probably gonna be able to like actually label my music sooner because since I'm making more of it. Oh, okay, got you, got you. And then five for your new plans, which brings me to my next thing. What's next for you? And you can add to what you just said. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, at first, I planned on releasing uh, so one, one of my old plans was that I would release an EP with my friend. Um, but actually, it turns out that my friend wasn't the type of person that I thought he was. And so um, I made a I'm I'm making a diss on him, right? And so mm -hmm. that this is coming out like next Monday. So I got that and I got another diss. I'm not gonna I I, I ha, I'm not gonna talk about much about the other diss yet, 
because you know it's it's kind of like a I'm not I'm not gonna talk about who I'm writing for and who's the target or what I'm using, but it is gonna happen. Like I have two disses on the way. I have a song with my boy. It's written. Or or Damon, I don't really know. He goes by a lot of names. He's he's a weirdo like that. But um, I have a song with him. I'm having a hard time doing it because it's actually his best song, and I'm and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> it has a good verse. It has a good it has a good chorus. It it has everything, and I don't want to mess it up. I have a song with um. I have you know normal single. I plan on like, but this, I, I have a, like a really, I have a plan on releasing like a really, really, really good album that, that, that will like actually define my sound, but that's not, that's like later on, like later on in the year, like years later, you feel me? But, um. for, now, but for now I got a, what is it? I got a cup, a couple of collabs two disses, and one single so far. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Congrats on those new things coming. I'm excited. Oh, and also, I got vacations in June. I, I finish, I get vacations in June, so even more music. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. That, that's exciting. I'm going on vacation, too, so that's exciting. Yeah. That's awesome. All right. I'm excited for you. Can't wait for all those good things to happen. Oh, wait. Actually, hold on. Let me, let me just, okay. Let me keep going on with the plans real quick, with the plans question, right? But this isn't going to be, mm-hmm. do you mind if I just talk about something real quick? Um, uh, okay. Yeah, so uh, let me just address this real quick. So... I have other plans besides music and it has to do with, uh, I have to, I, okay. So I have this one channel called the discord underground, right? Where Mm -hmm. we would just, um, well, me and my homies would just upload battles, right? You feel me? And Mm -hmm. so, well, battles and other discord rap related stuff. So we would do that. Right. As I said, one of my homies turns out that he's not the person that I thought he was, and I had to get away from him and body bag him on a track. So, so I'm so he's gone from the equation, and but he was the one that had access to the channel. So, right now I have to start building it up again, and on top of that, my other homie who was like supposed to help me with this, he had to deal with personal life and stuff. And so now it's all just me, me, it's just me. So I plan on trying to, and I'm also running another, I'm running two leagues at the same time. So I'm planning on right now, trying to get more stuff on the channel. Cause uh, yeah, I'm trying to get more stuff on the channel. I got one battle up so far, but that's about it. I have a I have a video that I think is it's gonna be really good, and that's that might get a lot of like a lot of attention. And it's a Discord rap funny moments type of thing. You feel me? Where I just pick out a bunch of moments like in Discord rap battles and like tracks from Discord rappers or freestyles and whatever. And I'll just put him in one big uh, uh, compilation. You feel me? Oh. Uh, I feel like that's going to gain... I feel like that's going to gain the channel a lot of traction. Yeah, most definitely. And that's great. That, uh, those good, that's more good news for you. I'm excited for that as well. That's fine. So is one of your main things trying to get people in the channel or like trying to promote it more? Um I'm tr- right now I'm trying to keep it alive <laughs> mostly. Um I'm just trying to keep it alive cuz 
I think the people were the people are already there. You feel me? Like the viewers were already there, but since we had all of these problems, I have to build it up again. I, like I'm not trying to make it blow up or anything. I'm just trying to keep it steady and alive. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now uh, you have a heavy you have a heavy burden. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Cool. Um, your little something is going to happen in a few minutes. All right. Okay. Um, save time. I won't ask you if you have any questions for me. So unless you do, but um, time for a little thing to happen. What is this I, thing? Well, basically. Every artist that comes on the show has to showcase their talent. And you're a rapper, so rappers get to rap it out. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. All right, all right, all right. It's a right. special thing. Okay. Uh, surprise. Okay, okay. Let me just... Just give me a moment, because... Uh, I was not ready for this, <laughs> but give me a second. That's I got, why? It's a surprise. I got, I got something written down that I wrote down the other day. Um, let me just try to find my notebook because. Okay. okay. So how, how is this going to work exactly? Well, most people do acapella, but if you can do it with a B, that'd be fine. But most people do acapella anyway, so yeah. Oh wait, we can do acapella. You can do acapella if you want to. Most people do acapella, so yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Give me a second. Cool, Give cool, cool. Second. Y'all get excited. Get excited. Let me just look look through my things real quick. Okay. Because... Don't keep a digital copy of your writings. Right. The thing is that I have I have I write on my notebook. I write on Google Docs. I write like I write on everything, bro. So. So why is there a need to go and look for it where it's already there? Okay, I have, okay, all right. So I have this one verse that I don't think I'm going to use because I'm going to kind of like stay away from battle rap. You feel me? But I got this one verse that I got. So it's, it's like, it's a battle verse. It's not my best thing, but... I, th- I think it'll work for for this. Okay, cool. <laughs> now y'all get excited. All right. <laughs> so it's it's a little bit unfinished, but all right. Listen, I'm sorry, Metro, but <laughs> yo, Metro, you down down bad. I know for a fact that you'll be next up to ride the crazy train. Homie sees a female and goes off the rail. Shit's insane. But anyways, Metro's clearly changed since the early days. I mean, after he got raped by the deranged puppet, he started fronting, coming in. The shit he's talking is quite abundant. He says, come run my fade. Like, okay, pull up. First swing he couldn't avoid and it's over for the king of Detroit. Hold up. Yo, bar simplistic boy, I ain't kidding. You pitting Metro against me? This is gonna get grisly. I mean, here's the thing that I question. You're the self-proclaimed king, but it's hard to see your authenticity. When SCR's whisper and delivery has way more energy. Like seriously, compared to you, he sounds like he's saying shit enthusiastically. <laughs> boy, you most likely caught HIV from shiny fool. Don't talk back to me, bum asshole. <laughs> That's all I got. Oh wow, 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 wow. Okay. Um, is this a diss towards Metro? <laughs> it was so me and Metro were supposed to battle, right? Uh, well, oh, actually, we weren't supposed to battle because we haven't actually set it up. But 
Um, I don't think I'm going to use this because, number one, I just wrapped it on the podcast, and I don't know if he's going to see it or not. And number two, I'm kind of quitting of battling. So <laughs> You're quitting battling? Nah, it's, it's like a little break. I'm, I don't, I'm not sure because battling is a thing where you want to quit it, but you get back into it eventually. It's like a game you can never leave. You feel me? But, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Got you. And I think he might hear it. I don't, I don't really know if he watches these things daily. I don't know if he does. But um, even if he does, I don't think he'll hate you forever. Nah, I mean... I mean, he knew... He, he, I'm pretty sure he, he would have known that I was writing for him or something. Because I, cause I yeah. did kind of call him out one time. But Ooh. never set it up. So. Oh, oh, God. Uh, okay, but um, he's pretty cool with everybody. But if you mess mess him up, then he'll hate you. But he's pretty cool with everybody. So uh, I'm, I'm, cool. I'm I'm cool with him. We just kind of shit talk each other from time to time. <laughs> so I'm cool with him though. I can't imagine your Discord messages right now. <laughs> I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine what those look like. Oh, that hurts. Okay. Uh, but that was nice, though. And that was originally supposed to be a battle verse. That was nice. Yeah. It, 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 I wrote it in, like, a, what is it? Like, a couple of days ago? Uh, yeah, I wrote it, like, a couple of days ago. Maybe, like, no, yeah, a couple of days ago. That's, uh, that's, why, I, that's why I only have one round, and it's, like, unfinished. Oh, uh, okay. Got you, got you, got you. Okay. Cool. Thank you for sharing that with us. Okay. I think everybody enjoyed that. And um, now this is the part, excuse me, this is end credits I'm quoting. So basically, this is your time to thank anyone, do any shout outs, any last words you want to give, any advice you want to um, give. So yeah. Shout out to my boy, Kyoto. He's been on the grind he's a great music artist uh fuck you crazy you're a little bitch um what else yo uh shout out to psycho puppet he's a homie shout out to jacobites he's a homie and um, yeah that's it (laughs) Okay. Oh, wait, yeah. no, no, no. Shout out to Dragon Step and Dragon Up as well. Okay, now that's it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Cool. And thank God you did last. Thank God you put those two. Because you, cause you might have forgotten those, but good thing you did it before we ended. Thanks. Deal. Cool. And um, that's, that's not a big thank you for uh, taking for doing this. I really do appreciate it. This has been really fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope people out there enjoyed this, too. Yo. So, how do you feel about your first interview? I feel like that went really well. More than I expected. (laughs) I want to make sure that you feel good about this. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try to finish like my songs and maybe i'll pull up for the concert Mm, you know oh yeah oh yeah i haven't signed up for it yet but uh, but that's because i don't have anything ready yet but but i am i am trying to finish this okay cool that's awesome oh y'all also got like y'all upload raps to like wrap it out um, like, what do you mean by upload raps? Because I'm seeing, I'm s- looking through the rules, announcements, and events thing. It says, congrats to the lucky few selected as the best performances in rapping on this podcast. King Osiris. Oh, no, 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 no. That was finale week when I redid it. So basically, um, I had like, um, people, um, I asked a question, like, um, 
put us the best performance on the podcast and people kept saying like Roan and Psycho Puppet, blah, 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 blah. And then I just selected those people and then put oh. them on Instagram and have their own little thing on oh, it. Oh, right, right. I might do something in the future where they can upload raps like for reactions or do like a radio kind of thing where we just play um, select songs or something. I don't really know. Oh, I, I, I. I bet. <laughs> okay. I'm finna dip. Yo, thank you for having me here. No problem. And thank you guys. For, thank you guys for watching. And um, make sure to check him out on his socials. By the way, please message me your socials whenever you get a chance. Bet, bet. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. And uh, be sure to tune in to more. to come. later 